speaking of all that, the lawns are mowed, the floors are polished, the banners are hung. The stage is th thoroughly set there at Furman for tonight's debate. WYFF News for us, Allison Powell joins us now from McAllister Auditorium. Right now in McAllister Auditorium, they're still getting ready for the debate. You can see behind me five podiums for the candidates. We'll get a chance to meet some candidates we haven't heard much about. Before you can concentrate on what happens during the debate, you have to understand what to watch. And the way you do that is with this kind of exercise. Furman professor Sean O'Rourke tells his students to look beyond just where the candidates stand on a topic. Does the person get flustered? Are they able to be easily angered? Do they handle tough situations with a kind of grace and poise that we want out of a governor? Something else students will watch tonight, the new faces of third parties. Someone actually gets to see their face. And so for them, it's a chance to, to put their issue on the agenda. It's really important to pay attention to them and see how um, smaller parties affect um, the bipartisan relationship between Democrats and Republicans. Potential for some tax reform. Political science professor and organizer of pizza and politics at Furman, Danielle Vinson, believes this debate stands out simply for the lack of hot button issues. Not sure we have anything that quite qualifies as a hot topic, but I think some of the ones that, that people are going to be listening for. Um, certainly, what they're going to do about our roads and bridges. Um, we keep hearing a lot about infrastructure in the state. Vinson says, despite the focus on health and education, revamping the Department of Social Services and how to grow more jobs are sure to come up. Allison Powell, WYFF News 4 in Greenville. An important footnote here that debate is not open to the public, but of course, we will bring you the highlights on WYFF News 4 at 11 o'clock.